Shutoff valves make maintenance tasks around the pool easier and more convenient because they stop the water flow without the need for extra tools or devices. Most valves are the same size as standard hose fittings and are attached to equipment in a similar way. Let's get started. First, wrap Teflon tape around the threads of the shutoff valve to prevent any leaks. If a fitting is already in the location where you want to insert a new shutoff valve, detach the hose and hold the end upright to keep water from spilling out. Place the end of the hose into the pool to redirect the flow back into the pool. This technique prevents water loss. Use a wrench to make removal of the old fitting easier. Replace the old fitting with the new shutoff valve and tighten using the wrench. If there isn't an old fitting already in place, simply attach the shutoff valve and tighten the hose using a wrench. Once the new valve is securely fastened, put the hose fitting into the opening. Note that the position of the valve handle indicates whether the valve is open or closed. When the valve handle is turned to the side, the valve is closed and the water pressure is off. When the valve is turned forward, the valve is open and the water pressure is on. While attaching the hose, make sure that the valve handle is turned to the side, indicating that the valve is closed. Attach the hose and secure its position with a clamp. Make sure all the fittings are securely fastened. Turn the handle of the shutoff forward to the open position. Your shutoff valve is now connected and ready for use. If you have any questions or concerns about attaching a shutoff valve, contact your nearest Great Escape team. We're always happy to help.